I've seen people literally go pro on like 60 hertz monitors or like Walmart keyboards, like five dollars, like they're barely registering. I've seen people literally go pro on like the worst gear possible. So like you have to keep in mind that like yeah, I mean setup can like hinder you like a little bit, like it can like stop you from hitting like uh, what you call it. It can like cap your potential to a certain extent, but like most of the time, like if you're good, like you can do without. You can adapt to like without, you know. Uh, you guys, okay. Here's the thing, though. Like, what you have to keep in mind is that everyone starts at like a different place. Like no one's like automatically just like good at this game. You know, there's people who maybe like learn faster. Some people who learn slower. Some people are better at different things. But at the end of the day, it's all just about practicing and stuff like that. Some people get capped at like a certain point, but I. Here's the thing, I believe that, like, if you truly put in the effort, like, you can become a pro. Like, no matter what. At least in most cases. I mean, there is some RNG involved, I will I will not like. The, I mean, there's just life RNG in general. Like, the vast majority, if you put in the time, like, truly put in the time, you can do it. But, keep in mind, please do have, like, a fallback plan if that's something you end up, like, if you guys end up pursuing something like that. Like, don't just go all in and be like, yo, I'm gonna be a pro gamer, and then, like, drop out of school like here's the thing for me like and i feel like other pros like i went pro literally out of high school like i was <laughs> like i was finishing up so like high school to research here and like here i literally got are. like my first like pro offer and I, I was doing holes. high school slash like some college courses like on the side you know